Alright, it's a little tough to find, but uh, Wonderlich. This is their uh, U.S. headquarters in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Okay, so uh, it's been a long time since I've made a video, but there's a good reason for that. So back in October, uh, Rob and I were doing the Smoky Mountain 500, um, and the weather was kind of crappy. It was rainy, and uh, I was in the lead. We were heading up this real nasty uh, slippery hill. It was all like rock face, like bedrock. and. Uh, I hit some wet bedrock and went straight down into a uh, Jeep rut and just completely didn't get any chance to get my arms out or anything. So I had a got pretty banged up from that one. A um, couple injuries. I had a, a knee injury, which was a moral, well, yeah, Morel Lavalli lesion. I think that's how you say it. I'll link it in the bottom, but essentially the skin uh, on my leg by my knee pulled away from the fascia. And filled up with blood so it was like I had a giant uh, balloon on my knee uh, so I uh, went to the doctor I also banged my shoulder up on that one went to the doctor got it drained I'll put some video in here if, I gotta warn you it's, it's if you're squeamish about blood don't look at this or fast forward but I'll show you him draining it right here oh man it's a lot of goo you okay here oh yeah I'm good my, my biggest problem is my hip stretching Got like inflexible hips. Okay. Sorry about that if you're puking. Sorry. Um, but basically, took three huge vials of blood out of my knee. Um, and then my shoulder kept bothering me. So I went back to the, I have a sports medicine doctor I go to. Went, went back to him and he didn't like the way the arm was moving. So I went and got an MRI. And here I had two torn rotator cuffs in my left shoulder. So had surgery in February and I'm still you know not a hundred percent but I'm about probably 60 to 70 percent um, healed from that um, trying to get strength back trying to get mobility back so that's why I hadn't been a video that's why I haven't been on a bike um, however to share some additional news I did have a new bike day and I guess we could consider today May 26 it's Memorial Day weekend here in the US we could consider this um, new bike day, but new bike day was actually uh, January 27th, and uh, let's talk a little bit about that. So I went up to um, Asheville Motorsports, Eurosports in Asheville, North Carolina here, uh, to check out a bike that they had that was a demo, uh, 2023, brand new, full warranty, huge discount on it, came with the cans, everything else, and I went ahead and traded my KTM in on this. So hang on, I got the spec sheet in the box here. I'll walk you around it real quick, hang on. Okay, so this is a uh, 2023 12, R1250 GS Adventure version. I got the one with the Adventure, it was bigger. I love the gas tank on this thing. It's in the rally colors. It doesn't have the gold wheels, it's got the black wheels, which I like better anyway. Uh, really good discount on this thing and it came with uh, just about everything but the heated seat so just to go through it real quick um, it's the light white racing blue racing red colors it's got the keyless ride uh, design options silencer chrome exhaust heated grips tri pressure monitoring system it's got the touring package which gives you the GPS screws and saddle mounts it's got the dynamic uh, electronic suspension adjustment it's got the uh, it says it had the rally style package which is gold rims but I guess they took those off which is fine by me I like the black better anyway um, it's got the lights package so it's got the adaptive headlight it's got the headlight pro which I guess I actually have to look that up um, 
LED lights, LED lights, cruising lights, premium package, which is the dynamic engine can brake control. And uh, really that's pretty much it. So it's got everything with the heated seat. It does have the heated grips, but no heated seat. So, um, but I got a really good price on it. It was marked down significantly from what um, was on the sticker, obviously, since it was the 2023. I got it in January, so they were looking for 2024s to come in, and they wanted to move the 23s. And they made me a pretty good offer on my trade-in because they're also a KTM dealer. So they got my 790, gave me a, a decent offer on that, and uh, I went with the Beamer. So looking for something for long, longer road miles, and I think when you compare this to the KTM 1290, I think this has a little bit more... Uh, creature comforts. It doesn't have the adaptive cruise control, obviously, but um, it does have many, many creature comforts. It's a very comfortable ride. I've been on it for two and a half hours this morning. Rode up from uh, Charlotte up here to Hendersonville, and I'm standing here in the Wonderlich parking lot. <laughs> they have a headquarters here up in uh, Hendersonville, so figured, hey, let me go check that out. So here I am in Hendersonville. Uh, what have I done to it so far? Really not a lot. Um, I had this done at the dealership. I've had the, it's the Garmin XT2. I had them add that. I bought the SW Motec tank bag. Ordered that from Germany. Uh, it was much cheaper. Um, these are the uh, Machine Moto cylinder guards. Got those. And then uh, the only other things I did was I bought the handles. For the saddlebags, and then I also went to Fast Signs and had them put a clear coat film on top of the panniers so they don't get all nasty and worn looking. But that was uh, that's really it, that's all I've done. Uh, everything else is pretty much bone stock on this thing. I've um, been resisting the temptation to buy stuff since I've been hurt. I haven't been able to, to ride, so I don't really know what I need. I think I'm gonna need a windshield maybe, and then uh, of course, resisting the urge for too far cold, which is. Anytime I get a new bike, man, it's like, yeah, you want to get a bunch of crap and put it on there. But So I'm a, I'm a BMW guy now. I don't drink coffee. I won't be at Starbucks. Um, but for me now, it's the it's the GS and the, and the Honda CRF 300L Rally. I'll be riding the Rally on dirt and this one on long road trips. So that's kind of the plan. Hopefully we'll just stick to it. I really don't want to take this thing down technical trails, maybe some fire service roads. That's about it. I was looking more for the, the touring aspect of this bike. And uh, so far, again, it's been sitting in my garage. I've been looking at it longingly since January or February when I had my surgery. I haven't been able to ride it. This morning when I got on it, it had 240 something miles and it's got about 310 now or so, something like that. So I'm trying to get it to its first service uh, as soon as possible and then I can start hitting some road trips. I know we got some stuff planned. Uh, heading to Alabama in the fall and then uh, trying to get my shoulders squared up enough where I can camp. So that's what I've been up to. So if you made it with me this far, I appreciate you watching. It's kind of an odd video, I know. It's new bike day and uh, where the hell have you been video. So anyway, thanks again. Uh, if you like this, hit the, hit the little thumbs up and the ding bell, all the crap that YouTube likes. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. And that's all I have to say about that.